Dilio coming to you live from the Art Sound property. Quick vlog about Machine 2.0 problems, part two. Uh, as you know, I vlogged about how I was having issues uh, recording Fast Track Ultra. Well, not necessarily recording, but browsing samples. Just a simple act of browsing samples. I went on, and this is happening on a, on a Mac Mini, uh, old one, 2007. Yeah, I got an old Mac. Anyway, got Lion on there, got Machine 2.0, browns the samples with a Fast Track Ultra interface shuts the whole audio stream down everything else is, there's no audio come out of it well i hooked up my older firewire 410 to the uh m audio uh to the mac midi and what i discovered is that that actually works i can still run a 32 millisecond buffer on it of course until i start using a bunch of vsts but the thing is is that i can browse samples and it may freeze up for a moment but audio still continues to stream it doesn't stop so therefore i believe this incident is isolated to the fast track ultra so for all those out there who have a fast track ultra and they're using machine 2.0 on a mac mini uh we're kind of screwed on this deal the reason i say that is because these are one of the products that avid did not purchase when they acquired m audio therefore it causes problems for all us antiquated fast track ultra owners so i just wanted to give you a heads up uh, and maybe this will help someone out, but I just wanted to put this information out there to help those who are trying to make music with the Fast Track Ultra Machine 2.0. Uh, I wish Native Instruments would come out with an update, but we know how that is. This is DDLT 2 k Make sure you follow me at DT2K on Twitter. Follow me on there, okay? Peace.